The city director of Blackburn, where those fans are unhappy the way the club is being run, are continuing their protests. It comes on the first anniversary of Mona Fenty's taking over at Eagle Park. Fans have been laying flowers and wreaths out the foot of the statue of former owner Jack Walker, and they insist it's not in poor taste coming so soon after a member of Sunday. It's a complete coincidence that Nancy bought the club, but just after we on Sunday, there is absolutely no way that we wanted to make any sort of statement that linked toward, towards Remembrance Sunday. And as I said, this is more about a time for reflection rather than, um, as it was you know, probably poorly communicated, the death of the club. Desperate times cause for desperate measures, and at the moment it really is desperate stuff. You know, three wins in ten months. So this isn't about the, the death of the club or anything. It's between the break, it's the breakdown of communication between the club owners and the fans. We feel like we're losing our club, we're, that the club's slipping away, and we're slipping into poor results and possibly relegation. If people want to look up and say that's a bad place to match with rooms, that's all I can say. Then, uh, like you said, it's the time we cannot wait in for the club, but we have to remember to stay. Because that's what we put the club down as well, we're going to sit the numbers on Sunday. But this week is about them trying to celebrate that they've had that club for a year, saying they've done the best interest. It's like the baby, when they're not doing anything at all. Oh, that was last week, weren't it? I mean, you could have been last week, and that would have been even worse. But it's a bit awkward, but it's a bit strange. So no issue on taste whatsoever as far as you're concerned, it, this, is, this is fine to do? It's, of course it's fine to do. Yeah, I think so. And after a little while, it's fine, they'll say it's done. On an afternoon where it's been reported that Seth Lacker, the people...